What You Need to Know About the Law of Attraction, Part 4 of 4. The content for this podcast comes from my book, Advanced Success Secrets. You can get a free copy of each of my eight best-selling books at alexhammerbooks.com. That's A-L-E-X-H-A-M-M-E-R-B-O-O-K-S dot com. What you need to know about the laws, what you need to know about the law of attraction, part four of four. It is the love we experience that evolves us faster than anything else in this world. Pain and experience can teach us, but are primarily tools of the lower levels. When we're ready to be taught primarily by love, pain doesn't cease to exist, but lessens in importance as a teaching tool. We communicate with each other by thoughts and feelings, again, across space and time, to work to perfect our relationships, as these relationships perfect also, in a reciprocal manner, ourselves. We each play roles in the world, husband, wife, teacher, doctor, daughter, son, etc. And these develop and bring out qualities, capabilities, emotions, and experiences, etc. in ourselves and others upon whom we have an impact. When you think about something you are, in a fun- when you think about someone you are, in a fundamental sense, seeking to move forward that relationship, that development, including at times by negative emotions and thoughts, which indicates some obstacle or impediment or barrier to outright love. We also equate this with justice. If we feel that we have been wronged by another, thinking about it is a recognition to us and to them if they are open to it, that the scales of love, if such a thing exists, or at least of life, feel out of balance. It is all an attempt fundamentally to rectify a perceived imbalance in our relations or relationships with others as it relates to our own lives and ourselves. So how does all of this relate to success? Parentheses. You were thinking that question now, weren't you? End of parentheses. We're wearing on the outside of our lives what we feel and believe on the inside. As the, as the famous saying states, as within, so without. That's in quotes. The amount of change that I felt that I needed to produce in the world emanated from a compensatory lack of confidence in the perfection of the world, parentheses, and others, as it exists. People sensed the urgency of my energy and were motivated to turn away from it, parentheses, I think I also needed to learn to a greater degree not to be dependent upon the approval or acceptance of others. This has been a life lesson for me from the beginning, end of parentheses. It was not an inviting energy or sharing of sharing, but of direction and control. Not that I was out of the ordinary by any means. That is perhaps what most of us do most of the time. We apparently feel deficient if you look at our collective actions and results. Perhaps that is why only 5% of the individuals in the world, or less, are prosperous, even though prosperity is available to all of us. Prosperity is not something that we attain out in the world. It is something that we build inside of ourselves and that is reflected out into our circumstances in the world. Talk to rich, pe- talk to rich people and they feel rich. Not deficient, not needy. They're independent emotionally to a degree. Successful people do not repress relationship needs because we're all connected as well. But at the same time realize that Quote, success is a team sport. And you know what? You'll attract the people that you need into your life to get to the next level when you already feel satisfied and better yet grateful for where you are at. Gratitude is the magic formula because it represents a state of fullness. Others can sense that in your energy, that you have enough for for you and them both, rather than feeling deficient and needing to take something from them. Which type of energy would you be more attracted to? If you're thinking throughout your day about what you need from other people, how they did you wrong, or something else along these lines, then you are sending out the wrong type of energy into the universe for you to prosper. Instead, cultivate the feeling and belief that the universe and others are your friend. 
exhale. Look at each person as they are in their own state rather than as an extension of you, your wants, and your drives. This love and lack of neediness and desire unlocks the best from the other that you are capable of receiving. Remember, as I have said, that, quote, the universe expands or restricts opportunities, sometimes I say or contracts opportunities, based upon one's ability to receive them, end of quote. Use the law of attraction as a powerful tool in your success by growing your success from the inside out and then see it flower in the world. A conclusion, quote, be careful what you wish, be careful what you wish for. The mind and the heart, parentheses, and the soul, end of parentheses, are very powerful tools. They are always creating. It is just a matter of what type of content they are creating. Use your life experiences as a mirror into your thinking processes. There is a temporal gap, and sometimes the things that you are experiencing may be holdovers from a previous lifetime, parentheses, if you believe in that kind of thing, end of parentheses. In addition, sometimes higher souls increase their level of suffering in the world so they can, that they can grow even faster, parentheses, to clean out whatever, quote, junk is still remaining as much as possible, end of parentheses. So don't think there is a, a one-to-one correlation between what you are experiencing and what is in your mind. But at the same time, as your thinking and feelings evolve, watch also how this does translate into your experiences in the world. As is famously said, if you stop looking down on those who mistreat you, parentheses, but I would add still take practical steps as may be necessary, such as to avoid them at times, and the parentheses, that either they will start treating you better or you won't care. Spiritual laws, such as the law of attraction, can't be controlled, but they can be utilized or followed. Make sure to the degree that you are able that you are aligned with your highest good and your highest self. Confident in the knowledge that good things, things that you want or need or both, are quickly coming your way.